This is the Sackler Ace M. I've been using it for a few months now and I want to talk about my experience of switching from a photography focused tripod to a video centric one like this. Coming in at $700, the Sackler Ace-M with this two-stage aluminum tripod is pretty expensive in my books, but thankfully I managed to get this on sale for $500 at B&H Photo. In terms of video-centric tripods, a couple hundred dollars isn't all that expensive, and that kind of makes sense because tripods like these are designed to securely hold expensive and heavy cameras that will be rigged up with accessories such as matte boxes, ball focus systems, or high-capacity batteries. Uh, for my purposes, I decided to invest in a video-centric tripod mainly for the better ergonomics compared to a photography tripod. After making over 50 videos, I've come to realize that trying to fight with my gear like properly leveling the frame ends up taking my focus away from making the actual video. I admit that this feels a little overkill for my Lumix G9 camera rig here, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm hoping that I can grow into this fluid head and tripod combination. That means that if I decide down the road that I want to switch up camera bodies or use beefier lenses, I'll still be able to use this fluid head and tripod combination. Moving on to the start of the show, which is this Sackler Ace M fluid head in this all black colorway. This fluid head is pretty dense at 1.7 kilograms or about 3.8 pounds. It can support a maximum payload of 4 kilograms or 8.8 pounds. This is perfectly capable of handling my camera rig, which weighs in at around 2.5 kilograms or about 5.5 pounds. The Ace M comes with this long camera plate that has these grooves on the bottom that prevents the camera from accidentally sliding off the fluid head. On the side, there's this red button that is used to release the camera plate and this knob to lock the camera plate in place. For me, I've opted to attach my Manfrotto RC2 quick release adapter to the camera plate versus attaching it directly to my camera. That way I can use my existing Manfrotto 200PL camera plates that I have on all my devices. The Ace M Fluid Head features 5 steps of counterbalance that is configured through the circular knob and has 3 steps of drag settings for both the pan and tilt. I do feel like the drag settings for the tilt is a little bit tight even after several months of use, so it will require a sturdy twist to change the amount of drag applied to the tilt. Balancing my Lumix G9 camera rig on the Ace M is a pretty straightforward process, and once it's all balanced, I can make these silky smooth movements with my camera. When I first used this fluid head, I was really impressed with the results, and it made my Manfrotto X Pro fluid head that I had on my photography tripod look jittery. Also, when I fully release a drag setting on either the pan or tilt, I can make the tripod do this, now that's a cool party trick. In terms of other hardware features, the ASM comes with two separate knobs that lock the pan and tilt motion. And on the right side of the fluid head, there's a spot for the pan bar to attach. I usually don't have it attached because I feel that it gets in the way of me shooting. Moving further down, the ASM has this 75mm bowl mount that will attach to the tripod legs. This bowl design allows me to easily level the camera with a single motion. So instead of leveling the tripod legs, I can just approximate the height of the three tripod legs and then level the camera using this bowl. On the bottom left corner of the fluid head, there's a tiny bubble level indicator, but I didn't really use it because I found that it can be easily blocked when I'm not in a brightly lit room. However, this isn't a big problem for me because I mostly rely on the level gauge on my camera to properly level the fluid head. The last piece of this tripod is the tripod legs themselves. They're made of aluminum and weighs in at 2.69 kg. Nice. Or about 6 pounds. The legs are two-stage, meaning that there are two sets of knobs to fully extend the tripod legs. This means that for certain situations, I'll still need to bend down to change the height of the tripod. But this is still far better than my photography tripod that has four separate fist locks that made adjusting the tripod height a huge hassle. With the Ace M fluid head attached, this tripod can go as high as 169cm or about 66.5 inches, and the lowest it will go is 78cm or about 30.7 inches. This means that the tripod isn't suited for low down angle shots, and since the legs themselves don't have a locking mechanism to limit the individual legs from spreading independently, it can only work with the mid-level spreader attached to it. Lastly, each tripod legs come with integrated spikes that can be retracted by simply screwing up the red rubber feet. This is a really handy thing to have, and the red rubber feet also does a good job at preventing the tripod from sliding on smooth surfaces. When it's time to store the tripod, it folds down to a length of 84cm or about 33 inches, and it fits nicely in the included carrying case that is slightly padded. This carrying case is also large enough to fit my Manfrotto photography tripod, so I usually store that in there also. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the Sackler Ace M fluid head and this two-stage aluminum tripod. It has certainly allowed me to focus more on the shooting process and also have a bit more creative play when it comes to shooting B-roll footage. Let me know down in the comments section if you have any questions about the Sackler Ace M fluid head and this aluminum tripod combination. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you very soon in the next video.